and with that, that's the end of Foundations of Algorithms. I do still have a little time left for you because I know you're dying to hear a bit more about the exam. Um, but please do complete the end of semester survey. At least when I first wrote this slide, uh, my job definitely depended on it, and John John's a little less. As of this semester, now I'm what they call confirmed, so they can't fire me unless you give me really bad scores. But, but it's still nice if, 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 you're, if you're sweet and kind. But more importantly, I'd appreciate if you fill out the quality of casual teaching survey that we sent out that's about your tutors, because they are in even more precarious position than I am. And it'd be really great if the, they can go to like award committees and say, look, my students love me. Jack said I was the best thing since his breakfast sandwich. Gabriel said that he would marry me when he got older. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Um, okay, so please fill that out. Now, where to from here? You've finished Foundations of Algorithms, all of you, aside from a little thing that's happening in a couple of weeks, which I'm not going to talk about just yet. Um, but there are still some more options for things you might want to do later on. So the next class carrying on from this, if you enjoyed this, is Comp 207, which does a little more on the proof side of things, and a, it's a little more rigorous, and goes into some of the more advanced data structures. If you're interested in what we were doing, but want to take the pace a little more slowly, you might try Comp 203. So one is algorithms and data structures, and the other is, someone remind me the name who remembers, design of algorithms. So design of algorithms is the slightly more challenging one, and algorithms and data structures is the slightly less challenging one. Um, also consider a diploma of computing. There is a lot more to learn that I could not fit in in this one semester. As much as I was discussing with the teaching fellows this morning, I would have loved to take you for all three years of your degree. Sadly, that's not possible. Um, but do check out a diploma of computing and add it onto your current degree. Honestly, I think even if it extends the duration of your degree, it's worth it. The other free piece of advice I'll give at this stage is please go on student exchange on study abroad, particularly if you're a domestic student. There are lots of opportunities you can't get just by staying here. So extend your degrees if necessary, consider a diploma, consider a study abroad. Both of these very, very strongly, they're what kind of like got me to where I am today. Wouldn't have been able to do it without either a both the diploma I did and going away. Um, okay, now what I know many of you have been waiting for uh, the exam details. So it is going to cover uh, pretty much everything that we've done in class, with the exception of some of the more hardcore theoretical stuff, particularly the uh, NP completeness proofs that we did yesterday, the, uh, com the theoretical complexity analysis, the stuff about models of computation that is unassessed. I'll try and put a little ed post up that explicitly identifies some of that material. Um, one question that we frequently get is, will I have to code KMP from scratch on the exam. So, KMP is examinable. This includes the code. However, if you think about the kinds of tasks that we're likely to give you on an exam and what would be reasonable and fair, having you code up all of KMP from scratch would probably take up a lot of your time and a lot of an exam. So if you think that that's what we're likely to do, then maybe study how to write it from scratch. If you, however, think that we are reasonable people, then you might want to focus on understanding KMP and being able to at least reproduce the results of running the algorithm even if you can't code the whole thing up from scratch. Um, one thing that I actually didn't, a story I didn't tell you earlier this semester, but that actually happened to me, we had a lab full of PhD students during my PhD and a very famous computer scientist who was the head of the lab. And he came and said, I'll bet all of you a hundred bucks that none of you can write a correct binary search on the whiteboard in front of me. And we all tried. Not a single one of us PhD students at one of the world's best universities managed to write a complete binary search under relaxed conditions among friends with a whiteboard. So please do not worry about getting every last de detail 100% correct. If a bunch of super smart folks with a super, with a super smart head couldn't do it precisely the first time, chances are that you'll probably have a couple of bugs in your exam. We're not going to be too mean. That said, all of you have been doing exceptionally well in class so far, had lots of high scores on both the assignments, and so I would anticipate that the exam will be reasonably challenging. If you're very worried about this, take a look at your current scores so far and figure out like what you need to get on the exam to do okay. I did this with someone else, I forget who it was, it was someone, someone around that half of the class the other day, and computed what they actually needed to get on the exam to do 
reasonably well in the class, they need an under 50%. So if you th think about how well you've done and uh, use that to project out like how well you need to do on the exam and don't panic too much, even though we will put some more challenging questions on there to really like test you a bit given that you're all doing so well so far. Um, <clears throat> so finishing up, uh, we're almost done. Um, sit the exam even if you think you're going to fail the class. This is actually a really important message because we can't give you credit for things that you haven't even tried. If you sit the exam, we can always be a little lenient or try and find points or find ways to like help, help you uh, get past hurdles. If you don't sit the exam, there's not very much we can do for you. And this is really important for us. We want to see that you've tried and if you put in the effort, then we're going to put in all our effort to try and make you pass as well. Um, assignment two grades will be out before the exam. We'll have office hours by appointment. Um, and I'm looking into continuing to run the first year center at least for a portion of time before the exam so that you can go and get some more help. Um, this next message is also really, really important. Please eat, sleep, and exercise. Um, I found that these things are beneficial when I come and present in front of you. If I haven't eat, slept, and exercised, then it tends to be a very grumpy and very tired lecture. Um, and there are sample exams out there for you. <clears throat>